Hey, what's up everybody? I think a lot of people have been waiting for the walk around video on this car. This is a 1984 300 SD and uh, I've been plugging away at it for a couple of months and it's officially done. So uh, this is a very nice car. You guys check this out. So as I do the walk around, I'm just going to read off the sheet of all the service that was done. Let's see, new bunt wheels and center caps, new tires, new ball joints, new tie rods, left and right tie rods, new center link, new steering stabilizer shock, new control rod bushings, front and rear Bilstein HD shocks, front and rear brake calipers, new brake pads, new brake hoses, repacked the wheel bearings with grease, repaired the passenger rear window track. This passenger rear window was not going down. And it's very strange, that's, that's the common window failure on a lot of these cars, the passenger rear window. So repaired that. Converted the AC system to R134. Chemically flushed out the AC system. Installed a new mono valve for the climate control. Put in a new AC compressor, new AC dryer, new expansion valve, new AC pressure switch, restored the Bosch temperature regulator, restored original radio wiring, restored a couple of pieces of the wood trim, put a new antenna grommet, uh, opened up the Hirschman antenna and serviced and lubricated it, uh, repaired the vacuum locking system, it's fully functional. Installed the original radio and had it upgraded with uh, Bluetooth from Becker. They restored it and upgraded the Bluetooth. Uh, let's see. I might already said that. Original radio wiring and fader restored. Uh, new air cleaner housing bushings. Lubricated throttle linkage. New 3-2 EGR val uh, vacuum valve levers. New Bosch primer pump. New primary and secondary fuel filters. Degreased and detailed engine compartment, cleaned the fuel sending unit, did a valve adjustment, Rotella 15W40 oil change, Dextron 3 transmission fluid and filter change, differential oil change, power steering fluid flush, radiator coolant flush, new thermostat, new air filter, lubricated window tracks, and the last, professionally had the, had the vehicle professionally detailed interior and exterior and uh, cleaned the wheel wells. Wow, that was a long list. Anyway, let's get in close and take a look at this car. This uh, this is original paint, and it is incredible. You can see the reflection of the trees and clouds. Look at that. The headlight bezels are in awesome condition. The bumper awesome condition that's kind of a cool touch I'm gonna to leave that German flag uh, license plate on here you can see the blue coloring is not faded out in the Mercedes logo the anodized aluminum excellent condition that's where I had it trailered it to the detail shop that's uh, where your trailer you pull that up and your uh, hook is behind there to secure it to the trailer. Let's go ahead and put that back in there. There's a few touch-ups I've done with the correct uh, color paint. That's original, original paint, you guys. So a couple of rock chips over the years is expected. Look at the anodized aluminum. Beautiful condition. This is a really, really nice survivor. Just wait till I show you guys the interior. It's every bit as nice as the exterior. I think we even cleaned in here. Yeah, I cleaned in here at the detail shop. Got the original stickers on there. Higher pressure.
we took off all these emblems when we detailed it. Really, really nice. Take a look in the trunk area here. Right here I included just a little, uh, well these are the fuel filter and the oil filter, that's just the boxes. Uh, so next time you do it, you know what to order. I'm also including, uh, you know, some diesel return hose. That's a common maintenance item. And these are some air cleaner, uh, air cleaner housing mounting bushings. I include those and also stick a razor blade in here to cut your diesel return fuel line. These are what I just keep in the glove box of, the, of my car. But those come with the car. Uh, the original hang tag, got the original spare, got the tool kit. I always wondered what this was for right here, why it's always loose. And it's so when you're lifting it up here, you can stick it through there and turn it. And it holds that up. As many of these cars as I've messed around with, I just figured that out the other day. <laughs> Sorry for the sun glare. This is midday, but this is just a beautiful, beautiful car. See the light? Trunk light? Everything's working. I have everything on this car working 100%. There's the new grommet, antenna grommet I put in there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the interior because this is really the amazing part of this vehicle. Now it's been detailed, so we have the floors wrapped in plastic and the steering wheel wrapped in plastic. Look at that, there's no sun fading. Here's some original stickers from the original service. Looks like there's a 85,000 mile service sticker. Those are from Mercedes, so this was being chained, uh, uh, worked on at Mercedes. 111,000 miles. I'll probably put a couple of hundred on there since I've had it. Now, this is the MB Tex Palomino. Look at that. It's incredible. There's no pink amino, no fading. That's a sign that this car was never left outside. You can see the piping on the armrest. There's no tears in the piping around the armrest. No tears in the piping along the seats. Headrest. Really just beautiful condition. Look at that. These little tabs that let the doors shut well are still fully intact. Look at that. You don't have to slam the doors. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and get in here. This dash is phenomenal. There's no fancy shine or polish or anything. This is just the original condition. The wood trim is immaculate. You can see we do have a little split in the lamination right there, but guys, this is original. Uh, I'm not definitely not changing any of that. That's all original to the car. Headliner is perfect condition. The wind lace around the doors. There's no fading or tearing. It's very, very hard to find them like this. Let's go ahead and take a look in the back. And we buffed and polished the, <laughs> the uh, door jams. We did all that at the detail shop. 
Look at the nets on the back of the seats. It looks like they have never been used before. Awesome condition. The lights, of course, work back here. The reading lights come on in case you're reading your book in the back seat. The door panels are perfect. I mean, that's how they would have looked from the factory. All the rubber gaskets around the doors, no rips or tears. This even has the little felt piece is still intact right here. It's like a, it's like a canvas or felt piece they put around the edge of them. I'll show you that on the front door. I mean, this is what a garage kept vehicle looks like after 38 years. When, when you take care of the, here, let's get this thing to focus. There we go. When people take care of their cars, they last, especially these old diesel Mercedes. The quality of the materials in these cars is just, I, there's nothing even remotely close to it today. Let's walk around and take a look. Oh, look at the uh, package tray. Let's go in the back of the car here. Of course, the carpets. I vacuumed all these and shampooed them. Sorry for the shade. We're like midday and it's getting a lot of sun reflections. Original first aid kit. Beautiful survivor. And of course, it's fully mechanically sorted. I spent a couple of months on this vehicle. Go in the back here. Same condition as the other side. It's tough to find them like this, guys, but they do pop up every once in a while. And, uh, you know, this was an extremely nice car before before I did it. Sorry for the shadow. The sun's directly behind me. I think you guys get the idea. Comes with two sets of keys. All the documentation, the, the manuals. Uh, owner's manual, all of that is in here. It even has an extra leather Mercedes uh, key holder in here. Yeah, this was in really, really nice condition when I found it and uh, I just fully mechanically sorted it. This is, you know, original paint, original interior. Let's take a look at the engine compartment. There's, but yeah, there's nothing done to this paint or interior. Tons of mechanical work has been done though. You just heard the list I read out. Right, you see all your cadmium plating is beautifully intact on here. All of the original stickers are on the uh, core support. That's your old R12 sticker. Now it has been converted though. There's your valve adjustment sticker. Look at even the, the wiring. It's got all the colors on the, the cloth, like wiring sheaths, the rubber grommet right here for the wiring. It's just amazing condition. Very beautiful car. Let's go ahead and fire this thing up. We'll do your, the standard blow-by test. You can see all the new AC components down here. All new stuff, guys. Filters. All new stuff. Hood pad. Amazing condition. Super, super nice vehicle. Let's go ahead and fire this thing up. You guys have already seen the test drive video, but uh, so this should be a cold engine. I just backed it out of the garage. Let's 
this. Okay, yeah. It's down at 40. Watch how quick it cranks. That's like half a turn. That's how healthy this engine is. While we're in here, we'll go ahead and turn on the radio. Ninety-seven won the river. Atlanta's classic hits. <laughs> Actually, sounds really good. Let's check out the antenna. Fully serviced. The AC system. Fully serviced. You can hear it blowing in the camera. I'll go ahead and turn that off. Let's watch our antenna. We'll go up here and do the standard blow-by test. There is no blow-by on this engine. Extremely healthy 617 engine. We'll do a, I'm gonna go ahead and get in the car and turn on the AC. It's hot as hell out here in Georgia right now. So we'll go ahead and do all the windows and sunroof, all that kind of stuff. Let me put this on. There we go. Feels much better. All right. We'll do that one. We'll do that one. Let's roll those up now. That's the one I had to repair back there. I've lubricated the window track. There we go. Oops. Sorry, I let off the button there for a second. And, and then we need to and then we need to do the uh, central locking system. So I'm gonna hit this in a second. Let me all right, ready? Lock. See how fast that moved? You can see the other one also locked back here. And I'm gonna unlock it. See how fast that was? Super healthy. Guys, I spent hours making sure that vacuum system, there's, I think I did a video on it, and that vacuum system is outstanding condition. Let's go ahead and do the sunroof. Of course, I lubricated the tracks. See how fast it moves? Excellent condition. Go ahead and do the visors. Everything is 100% on this car. I did not skip or cut any corners. So sometimes when they don't turn on, you gotta make sure your contact, see the contact is made right there. Well, that one's making good contact at all angles, but anyway, you gotta make sure your contact is good. carpet down here is good look look at the red on the uh, seat belts see there's no fading on anything just like the uh, gauges see how the orange it all matches it's very bright all right let's go ahead and shut this thing off so a good test um, a good shut off test Mercedes says the vacuum system if it's healthy the engine should shut off within two seconds. So ready? One, one, that. Okay. So like before I could really say one, one thousand, it was already shut off. And uh, that's it, guys. That is the uh, walk around video for this car. This is a very, very nice 1984 300 SD. I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the sun and... Uh, pull it back in the shade over here because I just detailed it and the dash is beautiful and I've had it outside long enough. Oh, that air feels really good. I might just sit in here for the rest of the afternoon. It's like 90 something degrees in Georgia right now. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, please subscribe, like the channel and there's lots of really good cars coming up here in the future and uh, this one I'm posting the walk around video today and this one is officially for sale on the website so thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time